In this video lecture, we are going to see about the example for container loading problem. Uh, in the previous video, we have seen about the introduction part of container loading problem under greedy techniques. So this is the example problem for that. So in this, uh, I am going to consider a, a ship or cargo of capacity C. What is C here? The capacity of the cargo or we may consider in the pre as by the previous video, it is going to be the ship here. Okay. So C is the uh, capacity of the cargo or ship which is about what 400 the number of containers that can be loaded uh, that are ready for loading as 8. So what are the constraints we have uh, seen in the previous video first constraint was you must load as many containers as possible. So the number of containers must be high and the second uh, part was the second constraint was the weight of the uh, cumulative, cumulative containers that is the what are all the containers that you have loaded after loading you will be uh, accumulating the containers weight no that weight should not exceed the capacity of the ship or the cargo right so these are the two constraints based on that we are going to solve this problem so weight of the each container is given in the table so w1 has 100 w2 200 w3 50 w4 uh, 150 w5 90 6 57 uh, 20 and W8 is 80. So weight of every individual uh, container is given here. We are going to have a greedy solution for that. So in the previous video itself, we I have mentioned that we are going to start loading from the uh, uh, least weight container. So I am going to select the least weight among uh, these 8 weights. The least weight is going to be the 20. So select the minimum weighted container from the list. So the minimum weighted container here is nothing but what? 20. So uh, I am going to add that it is W7. Check the total weight that is 20 which is less than C. What is C here? 400. 20 is less than 400. Hence W7 is added into the ship. Now one container gets loaded into the ship that is W7 and whose total weight is less than 400. So now this is ruled out. The remaining 7 uh, containers are there uh, which are ready to load. Step 2. Select the next uh, least weight container. So what are the what is the next to least weight? So here 50 is here. Another 50 is here. So these are the two weights and that are very least. That is 50 here also. Here also 50. W3 and W6. Which one to choose? So I am going for W3. Okay, so what I am going to do, I am going to load the container into the ship. So it is W3 and W6. Choose either one. W3 is chosen in our case. So that uh, 20, uh, then 50. So totally what? 70 is going to be there. 70 is less than 400. No problem, I can take W3 also. So now W3 gets ruled out. So now W3 also get ruled out. Remaining 6 weights are there. Repeat this step 2 until maximum number of containers loaded with satisfying condition that total weight should be less than C. Okay. Next we are going for choosing what? Step 4. So W6. W3 is ruled out. W7 is ruled out. So I am going for what? W6. How much uh, weight is there? In, how much weight is there in the ship? Now 70 is there. Now I am choosing W6. 70 plus 50 less than 400. What is 70 plus 50? It is nothing but what? 120. So 120 is less than 400. No problem. I can take W6 and I can load it into the ship. And the next step is choosing W8 because that is the least. Next uh, to 50, 80 is the least. So I am choosing 80. Already 120 is there in the uh, weight is there in the uh, ship. So now 120 plus 80 I am accumulating. So total uh, what? 200 uh, capacity is there. But it is less than what? 400. So W8 will also be chosen. So this also will get ruled out. Okay. So now then we will go with 90. So 200 plus 90, 290 is less than 400. No problem, we can take two, uh, this 90 also. This will also get ruled out. So the remaining is 100, 200, 150. So already how much is there? 290 is there. So if I go with 100, 390 will become 200. No, it will ruled out. 150, it will also ruled out. So I will be going with what? W1. So which will, uh, what will happen? 390 is less than 400. No problem, we can select what? W1, which will also ruled out now remaining two which cannot be loaded at all because if i try to load it it will exit the limit so next w4 is chosen 290 plus 150 which is less than 400 so what will happen which cannot be loaded at all so it exceeds the capacity of the ship 
hence stop the process so what are the uh, uh, container that are not loaded so w2 is not loaded w4 is not loaded since it is not loaded xi is marked as what zero for that the remaining one is marked as one whichever is loaded into the ship that gets marked as what one whichever is not loaded it gets marked as zero thank you that's all about container loading problem of greedy technique thank you all